first, let's get to an update of the already controversy-ridden case of the Mahatma's belongings. The U.S.-based collector James Otis, who auctioned the pieces just a week ago, now wants all the memorabilia back. In fact, James Otis had told CNN and IBN that he will file a case in the New York State Supreme Court to try and get back Gandhiji's items. This after Antikorum auctioneers have already auctioned the items for $1.8 million last week. James Otis claims that the items are being used by political parties in India for personal gains and this is against the ideologies of the Mahatma. Now we must remember here that Vijay Malia had outbidded other potential buyers at the auction last week and brought the heritage items back to India. The auction items included Mahatma Gandhi's iconic glasses and also other personal belongings including his sandals and his bowl. And speaking to CNN and IBN this morning, James Otis has said uh, that he is upset with the way it is being used for political gains in India. In the past week, while I've been fasting, I've been on a 20-day fast, I think I'm on the eighth day. What's become very clear to me is that the items are being used in, in, in ways politically that I feel aren't in any way consistent with Gandhi's ideal. The one who won the items in the auction uh, belongs to one political party, and of course the current sitting government belongs to another party. And so there's, there's, it feels quite very much to me like they're being used in ways that, that don't seem fair. And I understand in India that the elections are coming up, and so they're being used in all sorts of confusing political ways that I don't feel Gandhi would ever be proud of. Well, I believe it's, uh, it's my right as the legal owner of these items. Gandhi was able to bring together 600 million Indians in the spirit of nonviolence. And what's happening now, without my understanding or clear knowledge, is that it's dividing people. And again, it, it's not what I want and not what I hope for.